Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Centers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Hang out with Thor, Maya. I want to thank EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video. I got a lot of stuff to do. I've got some errands to run. I'm going to show you kind of what's been going on around the Ponderosa that you haven't seen. So this is going to be a little bit more behind the scenes type of video. A, a little bonus video for you here. Kind of out of the out of the normal. I've got to go get some feed and then I'm gonna also going to pick up some stuff. I'm going to show you what's going on inside the Ponderosa. I'm going to hook the trailer up and we're going to head to town. Follow me along. What are you doing, Betty? Hey. Hanging out with your family? All right, good chat. We'll talk to you later. What in the world? Betty. Again? Come on, Betty. I'll be back, Betty. Don't worry. You stay with the dogs. See you, Betty. Come on, chickens, let's go, get out. Oh y'all, get out. We got work to do in here. All right, we're back. Um, I've had some work done lately on the barn. Um, not the office, some new stuff. Let me show you what's been going on around here. Yeah, and it's 14 foot. Yeah. Watch that beam.
trailer's unhooked. We are ready to go. We are headed to Mom and Kevin's to the Dunbar place to check on them and see how they're doing after the working. Uh, miss those guys. We're also going to check on Eleanor's calf. I'm kind of worried about her, and I've got to get some footage for Doc to send to him to see what he thinks that we can do uh, for Eleanor's little heifer calf. And um, then we're going to get our one-ton bulk feeder. Thank you, Silky. We're going to get our one-ton bulk feeder, head back to Davis, to the feed store, pick up our 4A blend, and then we're going to go back to Mom and Kevin's and drop it off, and then I'll go pick up Brooks. Let's go see Dunbar. Hey, guys, I want to tell you about my sponsor today from EcoFlow. I've been fortunate to have the Delta II for a couple of months now, and I love this handy little portable power station. It can power 90% of home appliances for long run time with large 1 to 3 kilowatt expandable capacity and 1800 AC output. You can enjoy the fastest charging from both the AC or solar or smartly control from the app. The Delta II is the longest lasting power station with LFP battery that allows everyone to use the clean and stable power for long. Why do I love the Delta II? It's not just a battery. EcoFlow is a leading energy company that is dedicated to bringing innovational and eco-friendly power solutions for home backup, outdoor adventures, and professional needs. Being not just a battery, the Delta II is the new home essential by taking the flagship Delta product to the next level. I've been using the Delta II around the home and the ranch. I was recently burning a brush pile. I was able to use the Delta II out in the field as a battery backup to support my GoPro for a long lasting recording session. It kept the GoPro juiced up so I could get that long duration of film that I needed. Also, as I've been working inside, trying to finish the office, really focused on the interior of the office. I used the Delta II to support my air compressor so I could use my finish nailer to put up the trim inside the office. In the middle of that, I was able to charge batteries for my other power tools, uh, charge my phone, and charge my sound box that I always listen to. Blackouts, don't worry about it. The Delta II has a battery backup support system that can allow you to power 90% of home appliances for long run time. With the unique one to three kilowatt expandable capacity design, the Delta II offers a large 1,024 watt battery capacity. And it's expandable to 2,048 watts with the Delta II extra battery. It's flexible and on-demand energy keep your appliances running for everyday use or home backup. In case of a blackout, the Delta II is there for you. We just recently had chicks, and I've been keeping them in a barn, keeping them protected, and now with the cold coming, within a barn, if you're out of power, I use the Delta II to run my heat lamp for my chicks that we have in our barn during the winter. Delta II also can run my computer when I need it during a blackout. It has the fastest AC charging with the revolutionary Xtreme technology. You can charge zero to 80% in 50 minutes and zero to 180 minutes. That's seven times faster than other power stations on the market. Don't forget, we've got solar power as well. With a 500 watt solar input, you can charge the Delta II within three to six hours. It's convenient to use with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Connect the Delta II with your smartphone. Keep an eye on your energy usage, adjust settings, and your energy input all from the handy EcoFlow app. Take it anywhere. I take it to the ranch. I take it to the home. I take it to the barn. It's powerful yet lightweight, weighing only 27 pounds. 
easily lift it up and take it anywhere, no matter powering home appliances around your house, enjoying outdoor activities, outside in the outdoors, in a barn, it doesn't matter. The Delta II uses LFP batteries, which is same type of battery as Tesla, six times longer than the industry's 500 cycle average. If used once a day, it can be used for 10 years. Need to charge your portable generator? Don't worry about it. There's a HC charging port, car charging port, and a smart generator charging port. You can connect to multiple devices in your house. All right, guys. If you are in for the market for any of these products, EcoFlow is running the biggest promo of the year for Black Friday as we speak. Some up to 50% off. Check out the links in the description below to find your best choice and best offers on their Black Friday promo till November 28th. So we've got Eleanor pinned up right here. Eleanor, she's so silly. We've got her pinned up right now with the uh, some yearlings just to keep her safe. Uh, mainly this baby right here is the concern. That's why we have the Eleanor and her baby pinned up with these yearlings is because we want to keep her safe away from the uh, big herd and that way we can feed Eleanor and her baby and we know that they're a little easier to catch if we need to catch her. So these mamas are still able to come up here to the weaning calves. We only have three weaning calves because these guys were born in May. The other five that are out in the main pasture, uh, we won't wean them till about two months from now, probably in January. But these mamas are still able to come up here and smell and sniff and touch their babies. We'll do this for about two weeks and then we'll completely lock out the mamas away from their babies. So it's, a, it's an easier transition for these calves that are in weaning um, instead of just a complete cutoff um, they're still able to smell and, and, and touch their touch their mamas yeah. it's a little bit less stressful than it normally is for them yeah. Yeah. Dunbar no son Oh, there he is. He's way back there. All right, we're gonna let him be. What are you doing? What are you doing down here? Huh? Hanging out with Eleanor's baby, Nora. Got the one ton bulk feeder on. So we're uh, ready to head back to Davis to get some feed and we'll go from there.
Hey, Jackie. Get some feed, Jackie. Gotta get some feed. Watch your head. Come out on it, girl. No moss. Well, don't eat it, silly. Probably tastes good to you. Well, we're gonna do a little feeding. All right, so we made it back. Gonna do some feeding now, before it gets too dark. Hey, Eleanor. buddy come on We typically have feed year round, but one of the reasons that we really have feed right now is we're getting the weaning calves started on feed and obviously they have hay with them. But uh, one of them, he already came up here. He started munching, little bull did. And uh, once we leave, but their mamas are up here right now and, uh, and they're smelling them and whatnot. So they don't wanna, they don't wanna. These calves are starting the weaning process and so uh that's why we feed them right now i kind of get them on that it's just a little boost especially as winter is is on its way we're actually getting a cold snap and it's going to be really cold going to be down in the freezing temperatures which is not normal for november here so these guys need to start getting on feed hey come springtime all these calves will come together at some point remember there's eight calves here we still got to catch five more and wean them in january and then all these calves will go together and we may take them to the ponderosa over there and take care of them and mix them in with those two texas calves over there so we'll have 10 total weaning calves in january once we get these five off of uh, their mamas so and we just do that directly we reduce uh the chances of, of a mom not getting pregnant by just kind of letting nature take its course so well, that's why we do the weaning process ourselves Plus, we like to get them on feed and get, let them get them started, so. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on, let's go. Brooks misses you. Come on. Uh, before the sun sets well it's already set but now Thor has made a bad habit there is a dog right down here pretty close to right where that car is it's a neighbor and a uh, nice neighbor but she's got a dog on a chain down there and uh, Thor has found a new buddy well he has made a bad habit of doing this and going down there and this road is super busy and I just don't want to get him hit so I've ordered him a collar, a training collar, shot collar, whatever you want to call it, to keep him here because if he gets on that road as he travels through there, he will probably get hit as people haul on this road. I'm gonna go down to the neighbors and pick his butt up.
Thor, come here, buddy. Come here, Thor. Jeez. Let's get Thor out. Thor, come on, man. Please stay here. Please stay here, buddy. All right, we got Thor back, which is a good thing. He'll probably be there tomorrow morning. Just knock that off the list as well. But, uh, come on, boy. Gotta stay here and protect the place. Chickens. Lots that don't need you, but got a lot knocked off the list today. It's just, it's part of ranching, part of what we're doing here. Growing here at the Bison Ranch, just uh, doing everything we can to raise the American bison. It is a joy and pleasure to take care of these animals and uh, goofballs like this right here. Uh, I want to thank EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, stay tuned for uh, Thursday. Got a live video coming out Thursday. We'll be here at the Ponderosa. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon.